Hey, comic book fans, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. And fans, you're with me, Mike Spider Slayer. Get ready to do that all important comic book review so you, the fans, can make a decision on what comic books to buy. Today, fans, we're going to be talking about a book or a series that I normally would never pick up whatsoever. But this piqued my interest, and it was Life with Archie. Issue number 36. That's right. Otherwise known as the death of Archie. Now, Archie Comics has been around forever. In fact, since 1941 that we've had the introduction to Archie. And I don't think I've ever read a single comic issue. I may have breezed through, you know, one of those Archie digests in the store that you get. We all know who Archie is. We all know who Jughead is and Betty and Veronica, Reggie. You know, they've been around forever. It's just almost part of our DNA that we know what Archie is. But I never had a, an infatuation of picking up a series before. But when you hear the death of Archie, you're kind of like, what? Archie's dying? How can we not have Archie in our life? So I had to pick this up. Um, so... You see this cover here. We also had in the last uh, in the last big thing with Archie Comics, we had Afterlife with Archie. That was another big series that kind of broke ground. And now this is just bringing it further. We got a new animated show coming out with Archie. So Archie's all over the place, guys. It's not going away, but I don't know what's happening with him in the comics. Um, this book is done by Paul. Kupperberg and the pencils are done by Pat and Tim Kennedy. Uh, I think the artwork is done phenomenally here. Um, it reminds you of Archie. It reminds you of that classic feel with Archie. Um, something that you would always expect. Those bright colors, the same style of face. Nothing has changed over the years, I think, when it's come to uh, the character. I think it's, it's very well done. This book is $5.00. Um, you know, but you do get quite a bit of pages for the five five dollars, and you get a really good and solid story. And um, I think story wise, you get almost forty pages, and you also get a history of what life with Archie is all about. And basically, it's two worlds. It's basically life with Archie with Betty, and life with Archie with Veronica. Either one he marries. He marries both of them, but it's in two different universes. So, and this book does a really good job at tying things together without really showing who he is married to in the book, Betty or Veronica. And I think the book does a really great job at explaining that. And it also explains everything that has happened to this point. And when you get to the end of this particular issue, uh, it also explains as well um what the company is about who founded archie comics how long ago they started so it was really a great book for information wise so what did i think about this actual story um i think the our, the story did really well because it focuses on the history of archie the past of him it tells him his story of how his friends are uh, how he gets along with everybody, how lucky he is to meet such great people uh, in his life. Um, he comes across, um, what's the gentleman's name? Mr. Pevia. And he's this old wise man and he gives him, um, he gives him Archie just some, a wise lesson about, you know, think about the future. Don't always think about the past. Think about what you have in the now. And uh, Archie's taking a jog in the park, and he kind of, you know, reflects on that. And he basically goes through his entire life, uh, you know, thinking about what his future could be with, uh, what his kids could be with, like in the future. Um, and in the whole time, you never actually see who his wife is, the face. You just say, oh, hey, say hello to your mom, or I've loved her my whole life. Or she looks really beautiful because they want to leave that up to the reader on who you want the wife to be. Did you want it to be Veronica or did you want it to be Betty? So I thought that was really neat. Um, you get to see Archie as maybe a person who lived in Chicago, as rich and has a lot of money. Uh, and it was cool because what he's doing is he's jogging through the park and he's going down memory lane. And uh, he's living these past things. 
uh, you know, this past history, uh, you know, that happened into this, into this life as well. But the second part of this story really had to deal with Archie and about this fundraiser. And this fundraiser uh, is done by a senator, and the senator's name is Kevin. And there's been this shooter that's been out there targeting uh, gay people and, uh, you know, shooting people. And uh, they feel that the senator is in threat. But they decided to still go through with this campaign, and Archie's going to be there because they're having this after party at Jughead's place. Um, so as the issue continues to go along, and you flash back through Archie's life, uh, which is really neat because it, it's kind of like you know what happens, I guess, before you die. You see your whole life flash before your eyes, and you get to see that in this comic book. You get to see Archie's life before your eyes, and um, what happens at the end of this issue? Now there's a whole bunch of spoilers I'm going to show you here uh, because I feel it's kind of worth talking about. So if you don't want to see the rest, uh, just read your copy first and then come back and what I think. Um, so in the issue, you get to see Betty and Veronica, but you don't see which one is married to. And you get to see the after party. Uh, and then you have a whole bunch of security protecting this senator here. And you get to see him pull his gun and Archie sits there and he sees it and he's like, he's got a gun. And you're trying to find out who, who you know, who the shooter is, and we don't know who it was. We thought it's this guy with this little hoodie on, but it's not that guy. And he's about to shoot the senator, and what happens is Archie is brave and he's bold, and he sits there and gets in the way of the gun, and blap! He sits there and he blocks the bullet away. And then what happens at the end of the issue, which was really sad, is you see him there lying on the ground, and he's in a blood, a pool of blood. And uh, he just sits there and he says, is everyone okay? And he's lying there just dying. And as a reader, you're sitting here going, oh my God, I can't believe this is an Archie comic book. I can't believe this has happened. They've really pushed the envelope here. And even in the end, he, oh, he just says, I've always loved you. And you don't know which one is his wife. It's up to the reader, which I thought was so good. And at the end, you see him die. And Betty and Veronica are hugging each other, and everyone's just sitting there crying. I hope someone called the paramedics in that time. Uh, and then you get to see a milkshake spilt over. And that was the last milkshake made for Archie with three straws. So a sad ending to a character that's been around for many, many years. And uh, in the next issue, you're going to get what happens one year later. So for you, so for you guys out there who didn't get a uh, a copy of this, hopefully I gave you enough information on what this book was actually about. Uh, my comic book book shop sold out of this. Hopefully, you know you guys did get a copy and you read it. Uh, tell me in these comments below what you thought of this book. Uh, I thought the dialogue was great. I think what it did with for the reader. Uh, was just kind of left the fate in the hands of who you wanted Archie to be with as a fan of that. And then it gave you a really solid story of Archie's past, current, and possible future life. And it was a good remembrance of Archie and Archie Comics in general. So after reading this book, I'm going to give it a five stars. I totally did not expect it to be this good. And you got to give uh, hats off to Archie Comics for making Archie a hip and cool uh, comic book for uh, a lot of us readers out there. So guys, again, leave me your comments below on what you thought of this particular issue, and are you going to be jumping on board Archie Comics now? I'm, I'm probably going to give the next issue a try. And uh, guys, as always, thank you for watching Comic Book Corner 2.0, and until that next comic book review, this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off. Thanks for watching, fans. Take care. Bye.